Aloha. Welcome to Tutor Me Storytime. I am Auntie Liz, and today's book is called Kekoa and the Egg Mystery. The author of the book is Tia Montauk's Walls, and the illustrator is Holly Braffitt. Kekoa loved to eat eggs. Every morning, Kekoa and his ohana would have eggs for breakfast. And every morning, he went outside to collect the eggs. But one morning, when Kekoa walked down to the chicken coop, he got a big surprise. There was no eggs. Kekoa looked high, and Kekoa looked low. He looked under the chickens and over the chickens. Where did they go? Kekoa wondered. Maybe somebody took them, but who would take someone else's eggs? Hmm. Kekoa thought about it all morning long. When he got on the school bus, his stomach growled noisily. What's wrong, Kekoa? asked the bus driver. I didn't have anything to eat for breakfast, Kekoa explained. Well, you can have one of my egg sandwiches, offered the bus driver. Hmm, egg sandwiches? Kekoa had never seen the bus driver eat egg sandwiches before. Maybe it was the bus driver who took the eggs. Kekoa couldn't believe it. So he sat quietly and ate the sandwich. When Kekoa arrived at school, he was going to tell his teacher about the bus driver taking the eggs. But before he could, she walked in carrying a basket filled with them. Kiki, today's project will be to paint the outside of these eggs, making the shells beautiful. Eggshells, Kekoa thought. He thought to himself, his class had never painted eggshells before. Maybe it was his teacher who took the eggs. Kekoa couldn't believe it, so he sat quietly and painted the egg. Later that day, Kekoa's mom came to pick him up from school so they could run some errands. On the drive home, Kekoa was going to tell his mom about his teacher taking the eggs. But before he could, they stopped at a bakery. Aloha, what can I get for you today? Kekoa's mom wanted a loaf of bread. When the baker bent down to grab it, Kekoa noticed a big bowl of eggs on the counter. Eggs. He had never seen a bowl of eggs there before. Maybe it was the baker who took the eggs, Kekoa thought. Kekoa couldn't believe it. So he sat quietly during the ride home. He decided to go out to the chicken coop and look around one more time. Perhaps he would discover a clue this time. Maybe he would find the baker's rolling pin or his teacher's glasses or the bus driver's green baseball cap. When Keiko opened the door to the chicken coop, he found a mongoose. And the mongoose had an egg in his mouth. A mongoose has been taking the eggs. It wasn't the bus driver. It wasn't my teacher. And it wasn't the baker. Kekoa couldn't believe it. He'd been pointing fingers all day long. And now he felt like a rotten egg. The next morning, Kekoa went to the chicken coop a little earlier than usual. The mongoose hadn't come yet, and all the eggs were there. 
As Kekua started collecting the eggs for breakfast, he thought he could see a furry face looking at him from just beyond the chicken coop. Can you find that furry face? I see it. It's in the grass. He thought, we always have more than enough. I think I'll share with the mongoose. That is very kind of Kekua. So Keiko took some eggs out of his own big brown basket and set them down on the ground just outside the chicken coop door. As he turned to leave, Keiko wondered, hmm, how the mongoose liked to eat his eggs? Scrambled or sunny side up? How do you like to eat your eggs? The end. Mahalo for reading with Tutu and me. Ahui ho, and see you at our next Tutu and me story time. Mahalo.